Hello everybody, this is X5Drug and welcome to another How To Do video. So today we're doing the PS4, yeah! Uh, sorry, that sounded naughty. I'm just kidding, we're upgrading the storage from 500GB in the original model to 2TB. You can choose one, you can choose two, I'll show you the criteria in this video. Okay, so before you ask anything, all these links will be in the description. I'll organize the video section into four neat steps. Okay, so what are the steps before we go and do some real stuff? First of all, you need a new hard drive. You need a USB to install the system storage. You need to back up your files. You need a PS4. You need a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver here. Or, let me show you the shape of screwdriver if you don't have one. This one. Okay, you see this one? This one. Okay. And then, my friends, you just plug the power up again, you install the PS4 software in the USB and then download your data again. So this first section is about your hard drive, your new hard drive, most important section actually. So I bought this one, Seagate Backup Plus Slim 2 terabyte. you have one, 1.52, I'm not seeing the point here. Uh, here are the guide guidelines basically, it has to be 2.5 inch internal type, 9.5 millimeter millimeter a slimmer okay so this uh, kind of you know constrains your options and you have to have it serial ATA okay parallel ATA is not supported if you don't know what that means it's okay because nobody actually does I'm just kidding so you can go here where is it here sorry you have a lot of guides uh, online for this for 2016 these are you know supported hard drives okay you got convenient links to buy so other than the storage, let's look at uh, another thing that you might be interested in. Of course, the other than price. This is the minimum, okay? There's no reason to go below this. I mean, your PS4 already runs 540 RPM. Why go down, okay? you If you want a performance upgrade, you, you can choose this one, 7200 RPM, okay? If not, if storage is your only concern, you got 1 terabyte to 2 terabyte, okay? That's more than enough. Alright, so. Let's look at my uh, choice again. This is a very fancy, and slim, sexy looking storage hard drive. Unfortunately, it's going to be inside the PS4, so nobody's going to look at it. So I don't think even colors matter. But if it does, you got all colors here. And then let's go and uh, start working on, on, on what, guys? Come on, remind me. Okay, let's start backing up the gaming data. Hello again, so as we said, we're going to just uh, start with uh, backing up our data on the PS4. So you go to settings, and then you go and scroll down to application save data management, or data management, okay. So you've got here, as we said, save data and online storage, you can see the PlayStation Plus symbol. And then you have also for non-subscribers -sub or those who want to do this anyway, save data and USB storage device, okay? Because uh, the online storage has a limit, I think 10 gigabytes or so. So anyway, you can choose either one. This is the online storage. It's pretty nothing to show here. You got auto upload. But uh, let's go here to upload to online storage anyway. Okay, so you can press options, select all of them, and then just upload them if you haven't already started the auto upload available to you and the PS4 is turned on or in the rest mode okay so save data in USB storage device copy to storage system there's no USB storage connected okay so this is the part where you connect the USB storage system and then go through the process of course uh, for the library or the captured uh, you also have to do this manually. You go here and go to capture gallery, start, and then you press all. And basically, you go to options, I think, or just for example, here, options menu, and then copy to USB storage device. So you have to pick and choose which uh, clips you want because this might be a long process for you but anyway after you've done all of this you can start installing the new hard drive okay so let's go back to the computer and uh, download the system software update because this is, may take a while and of course let's check the format of the hard drive before we start installing the hard drive okay we'll see you then 
Hi again, so we're back at the computer. Now we just want to make sure that uh, this is properly formatted. Some people say if it's NFTS, it will automatically, the PS4 will format it to FAT or FAT32 or XFAT, but to be sure, we just did it ourselves. Okay, we just press here format and choose. Okay. So also, I have a USB device. I also made sure that it's XFAT at least, or FAT or FAT32. So what we're going Okay, so I've told you to go to this page to download the PS4 software update, but you don't go here because this is like 300 megabytes. For already installed uh, system, you want a fresh installed. So this is about 800 megabytes. They're advising 920. Uh, nope. Here. So this is a bit tricky because uh, the download button is actually clickable and it gives you a PS4 update, same as above, but this time it is 800 megabytes, okay? So again, USB storage, you open a file called PS4 and then update, okay? So, uh, do I have it still? Yep. Uh, just let me rename it. Okay, so what you do is, first of all, PS4 and then inside you do new and update all capital letters and then you put this here and that's it hey so we've come down to installing the hard drive itself so I just you know went ahead and uh, did it myself basically so what you want to do is if you have this kind of model you just hold on to the shiny parts from both sides like this while sitting preferably and then just push upward you'll hear a little, you'll hear a little squeak and then just comes off okay and then using a screwdriver you screw the one that has the PlayStation logo on it or not exactly the PlayStation logo on it it has a circle triangle and stuff like that it's a big screw and you pull gently pull the hard drive cage like this okay so after you do that you have here four screws on each side and you take them off using an appropriate screwdriver be careful not to remove the rubber soles okay just put them back inside if you just uh, took them off and then you have here of course our new hard drive so what we're going to do is take this out and put this in the same position slide it back inside again and then just put everything inside okay so we'll see you after we're done okay everybody so uh, this is the safe mode basically you make sure the PlayStation 4 is turned off you connect the controller through USB and then you press the power button and keep holding for seven seconds you'll hear a first beep at the second beep lift your thumb up and then press the uh, PS logo on the controller and then you're in the safe mode so number seven is initialize PS4 reinstall software system make sure your USB the one that you installed your uh, software and uh, software update is connected also and then you start okay Okay, so as you can see right now, uh, the PS4 will be initialized, all users and data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? You're going to press yes and then continue on until we get the main menu again. And then I'm going to show you how to restore all your saved data, either on USB or the ones that you've stored in the cloud. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay, so we got this screen right now, and uh, let's go to the. There's no English. What? 
Okay, so cycling through languages, I think the English became first. So basically, connect and then press the PS logo. Okay, so this is the final step. Uh, you go back, application saved data management. You go to save data either online storage or on your USB. I saved my data here. So what is left is just to press download to system storage and enjoy your new hard drive. This has been X5Dragon and I bid you farewell to the next video. Thank you.